those who say this organization is great because I'm here, and the people who say I'm great because I'm part of this organization. The world needs a lot more of the second kind. I think one of the things we've always tried to teach is every situation can be improved. It doesn't matter what power you have, you have a personal responsibility to bring about that improvement and a belief that the expert and the experienced person may be wrong. And I've felt that for the last 48 years since I started working on this field because it seems to me that that's what the world needs is constant, continuous improvement and that doesn't just mean more, it means better, it means more efficient, it also means more responsible in your behavior towards other people. To me, I'm seeing a decrease in ethics, in business, in the world of finance, that is appalling to me. I won't even mention the politics. And it seems to me that the abuse of power in all aspects of our society has gotten greater and greater and greater. And I'm not socialist, I'm not a communitarian, but I believe unless you understand the role of community in your own success, we will fail. I don't hear enough in the media about what's enough. I hear about maximization. I hear that in the Wall Street, where I actually do quite a bit of investing. But more importantly, I don't hear it in terms of our own lives, what's enough and then also, what's my role and responsibility to the community? It isn't just about me. Because ultimately, we all succeed or fail based on the health of the community in which we work, live, and create. Dying as the richest person in the cemetery is not most people's goal. So the sense of what's enough for you with respect to your family, what's enough for you with respect to the social environment which enables you to work, what's enough for you to do in terms of your own achievement versus leaving legacy. All of these things require deep self-knowledge and introspection. Very often that's hard to do in the heat of battle, but ultimately if you want to look back, I think it was Herodotus who said, count no man successful until he dies. If you want to look back with satisfaction on your life, you have to have an understanding of the achievement you need, what makes you happy, who you wish to be significant to, and what legacy you want to leave behind. I think what makes me proud is when you see the others with whom you've worked who are succeeding in carrying beyond what you've done, whether it's your children or your faculty or the businesses you've created to see that they can go on without you, that the values you've instilled, in fact, endure beyond your ability to say, I'll pay you to be good, is really incredibly important to me. I believe legacy is not about what you do, but about the values you instill and help others to appreciate. And. Uh, you can do so much more if you're helping others to succeed than if you're worried about your own success. You know, it's a, an interesting phenomenon. Many organizations have two kinds of people. Those who say this organization is great because I'm here, and the people who say I'm great because I'm part of this organization. The world needs a lot more of the second kind.